What's going on YouTube? It's Ben, and in this video, I'm gonna explain why entrepreneurs are not thinking big enough. What's going on YouTube? It's Ben. And on this channel, you know we talk about entrepreneurship, business, recruiting, pretty much everything in between. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about specifically mindset because I think mindset is behind some of the most successful people in the world. And I think you can learn a lot from today's video. So stick with me till the end. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Definitely let's get into the video. First and foremost, I think it's really important just to point out that our mindsets as we are born and as we grow up are simply programmed in a state called theta, which basically means that anything's possible, anything exists, and that's why we can just grab any inanimate object and basically create a forest out of just holding a simple little tree that I bought from Ikea. But essentially, the concept still remains the same. It's just that our shift in thinking as we become adults becomes entirely different and we remove the possibility that this can become an entire forest and we just look at it as a cool decoration that we put on our desk for YouTube. More specifically, your mindset is programmed to think small. And what do I mean by small? I mean that it's meant to make you think that you can't become what you want to become, have what you want to have, do the things that you want to do. And this all relates to like relationships, money, physical things, intangibles, whatever those things might be. All of those combined become shrunken in this scenario and you begin to think small rather than big. And for entrepreneurs, this is a massive problem. When you start to think really small, you start to think, I can't have this, I can't have that, I'll never be that, I'll never get to this goal, blah, blah, blah. And that's really, really bad for an entrepreneur when they're starting a venture, starting a new business, getting into something brand new, and they're trying to scale it and build it and become really, really large. You simply can't do that by thinking small. You have to shift your mindset to a larger scale thought process to actually get somewhere larger in life. 100% disclaimer here, I'm going through this myself. I have not cracked the code on this, nor do I claim to have all the secrets or any of the secrets specifically that will do justice to exactly what needs to happen here. But I do know the parameters and the peripherals on exactly how this works. People think too small, their life ends up too small. People think big, their life becomes whatever they want it to be. If you continuously think very, very small, your life is gonna remain very, very small and your business and your entrepreneurship ventures are gonna remain very, very small. Consider this example. It's like driving around in a car and only understanding that you can drive that car with only the gas that it has in it and once the gas runs out, you're done. You don't understand that there's gas stations everywhere and you can refill and actually drive that car all the way across the country. At some point in our childhood, we were eventually shifted into this programming subconsciously without our knowledge at all and taught to basically think small, whether it's society and it's the psychological factors around us, we were taught to think small, think that we can't achieve, think that we can't dream big, think that we can't get big goals, all of those sorts of things. Now it doesn't matter, you and I can talk back and forth all day long about I don't think like that or those aren't my actual goals or you know that's not how I think, but subconsciously, your subconscious mind is something like three billion times or three trillion times stronger than your your actual conscious mind, which basically functions just to give you simple pleasures in life, like understanding what restaurants you enjoy or what type of TV shows you want to watch or anything like that. The conscious mind can help you out in things with your business, but it's really not going to let you get to the full potential that you're actually capable of unless you begin to create a serious mind shift and think bigger. You see, the idea that in one year's time from now, you could be making five times the amount of money you're making right now, or 10 times the amount of money you're making right now, and have pretty much anything you want, 
isn't logical to you. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't register up here because your brain won't allow it. Your conscious mind will not allow that thought to be realistic to you whatsoever. However, your subconscious mind thinks only in terms of black and white. It only knows what you tell it and exactly what your intention is that you put towards that. So this is where things like the law of attraction, meditation, and visualization come in, into play, where you can actually reprogram your subconscious mind to understand that, yes, I'm gonna make 10X what I make right now in one year's time, or I'm gonna make 5X, whatever it is you set as a goal, however big you want to think. You know, you might wanna think just this big or this big, right? But everyone's different. So you've gotta understand that it's really your subconscious mind that's gonna be holding you back, not your conscious mind that just decides, hey, I want McDonald's today and that's my day. Where this really gets to become an issue for the entrepreneur going after their dreams, building their business, is that once their conscious mind has put together all the puzzle pieces and made everything and created the structure, the foundation, and maybe you've started to do business, and everything's all good. However, you're never gonna be able to scale that up and blow it up to astronomical proportions unless you've shifted your subconscious mind to allow that capacity to happen in your head. It has to happen here before it happens out here. I wanna make it really, really clear. The shift that I'm talking about making is a massive one. I'm not talking about just like starting to think positively like the law of attraction says or reading the secret and beginning, beginning to just spread more positivity in your life. I'm talking about an actual internal shift in your entire thought process and your entire being, stepping into a new you. When you do this sort of thing, you literally go from Joe Schmo to Superman. That's how massive the scale we're talking here. Going from thinking that anything is not possible for you to knowing that anything and everything is at the snap of your fingers and that you can create whatever you want so long as you are in line with your subconscious mind. All right, so of course the trillion dollar question is how do you make this shift? Like what do you do to actually reprogram your subconscious mind, get it back to into a theta state where you can actually dream big and imagine things like their total reality and pretend that this is a real forest and not just a little tree from Ikea? Imagine that, like understanding that shift that you could make and it would change everything, right? So how do you do it? Sometimes it's just a flip of a switch and you literally are reprogrammed and reframe and you pop your eyes open and you see the world in a different way and all of a sudden everything that you want to be possible becomes possible for you in an instant. The other way that this shift takes place is over time. So maybe someone needs a little bit of meditation or therapy or continuously mindfully thinking in different ways to put things into practice slowly but surely and change things over a period of time. It doesn't necessarily work for them just like that. They need to actually make it more logical and understandable to their conscious brain uh, that their subconscious brain can actually do whatever it wants. When people think small, their life is gonna remain small. When you think big, your life is gonna be whatever you wanna make it. You have to remember that concept. Now, one thing that I think is actually kind of funny is that there are tons of people that completely don't believe in this type of stuff. The subconscious mind, the conscious mind, thinking small, thinking big, they just think it has nothing to do with any of that. And I really think this is funny because it's just a symptom of thinking too small. I mean, really, these are all the people, you know, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, like it doesn't matter who they are. You all think they're insane and crazy until they prove you wrong massively. And you understand that what they were doing was just thinking way bigger than you were thinking. You were thinking tiny, they were thinking enormously, and that's where they wound up, and that's where you still are. Think about that for a second. All right, so if this is a valuable video for you, please smash that like button down below, subscribe, hit the alert button so you know every single time I come out with a new video, which is daily, so I will definitely be catching you tomorrow. Until then.